you guys and welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous. I'm so excited about this that I'm gonna like th do this review and testing this product right away. Um, I bought this yesterday uh, and it isn't even supposed to be coming out until the 26th of February. That At least that is like what it says on the Essence website but it was at my local drugstore and it's the Essence Stamp It Clear Stampy set. I was able to track down or acquire one of their stamping plates. Online I can see that there is like another stamping plate but that wasn't at my local drugstore anymore. I might go back and try to see if I can find it at another drugstore next week. But so far we're left with one stamping set and a stamping plate. Um, and this stamping set is really exciting. If you've ever tried to stamp with their original stampy thingamabob, that, which is an absolute pain and I can totally understand that people don't like stamping after playing around with that. Um, yeah, but this one is like, it's not like a step up, it's like, I don't know, a mile up. Uh, uh, from the uh, old stamper that they used to sell and that one is like going out of the, their range completely. Um, first up it comes in this really neat packaging that reminds me a lot of Moyu packaging. They um, s you know send out their stampers in packaging like this. Uh, I like that one a lot uh, and then it comes with a well, teeny tiny scraper. It's rather like uh, firm and really small as you can see, um, but we're going to use it nonetheless. And then it comes with this exciting clear stamper. I say exciting and at the same time I already know that I'm not that excited about it because um, it has two of the qualities that I don't like uh, too too much in a stamper. But we're going to give it a fair chance and we're going to test out if it picks up the images on this plate. Um, I might even go uh, and, and test it on another plate to see if it works with other plates as well. Um, but the thing I um, noticed right away and that I thought was really neat is that it comes with a screw on top which I like. Um, so the cap is screw on, that's really nice. I don't know why, why they did this like weird design on the top, but oh well. Um, and then the stamper had itself. Um, mine came a tad bit damaged, as you can see here. I didn't do that, it was in there. But that usually doesn't matter uh, on a stamper hat. I've stamped with things that are like far worse gone than this one. Um, and it's a dome-shaped stamper. That is like one of the things I don't really like in a stamper because I feel like a dome-shaped stamper usually distorts your images a tad bit if you're not really, really careful. Um, especially if you're going for like a, a pattern that's like full nail. Um, I feel like dome-shaped stampers can distort those like worse than a flat stamper like the one I use usually use. It's bigger so um, yeah it is dome shaped but not as much as this one is, right? Do you see that? Do you see that? <laughs> um, yeah and the other quality about this that I'm not I'm, I'm, I like it for some uh, things but not in general. It's a sticky stamper so it's not real real sticky like um, a Moyu stamper for example but you can see that it attached itself to my finger there quite a bit. Um, but Nonetheless, we are going to attempt to stamp with this and see how it works. Um, the other thing that a dome-shaped stamper does is it distorts your vision quite a bit. You can see how it sort of, ooh, it zooms in my nail. Ah, so it's sometimes hard to like figure out where you're actually going on your nail with um, a stamper like that. Uh, and the base is pretty um, thick, so that is also an issue. I prefer, um, usually prefer to have like an open um, back so I can see what I'm doing even better than with a back. But of course, uh, if you have a stamper like this one that is close on the bottom, you are protecting the stamper head even more. You know, there, no, nothing can fall in here and damage your um, like stamper head. So the first thing I want to do is wipe down this thing uh, and then clean it off on my lint roller. Um, I have a bottle of alcohol here, not for drinking, sadly, but I usually do that when I get a new stamper hat. I just wipe it, oopsies, I wipe it down um, with some cleaning uh, or rubbing alcohol just to get rid of, you know, every possible bit of residue that's on here and then I just usually let it sit uh, to dry down on its own for a while and then afterwards I'm just going to clean off any like particles or cat hair or just general fuzz on my lint roller. Um, yeah, and while this one is drying um, we are going to look at the stamping plate that I brought out for you. The packaging of this is... <sighs> 
I don't know. Why, why didn't they put like a hole on both sides? It's really hard to pull this one out here. Uh, and it's a small stamping plate and the images on here are also really, really small. It comes with a clear protective film that we are going to you, uh, remove uh, now. So I can show you uh, like all of the images close up. Oh, 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 you gotta be kidding me. Oh no, don't do that. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Ah, I thought that this writing on here, oh, they did not. Oh, wow. This is so weird. I thought that this was gonna pull off when I pull off the foil, but it's like, um, it's, it's been printed on the stamping plate. For a second I was like, how can they be so dumb as to put it like over the images? Um, but it's just like something that will rub off. There we go. Maybe I'm just going to use the same alcohol wipe that I used. Does that do anything? Mm, yep, it does do. If I put on a little pressure, I can get rid of that writing. That's a weird thing to do with a stamping plate. I've never seen that in like any of the major brands. Is there another film on here? Oh, you gotta be, is that like another film? I'm, am I seeing things now? Oh my gosh, there's like two films on here. Okay, I've been I've been a dummy dumb. Uh, I've been trying to rub this off because I thought they printed it on the plate because I already removed one layer, but apparently there's another layer on here. <laughs> Weird. Okay, I am removing the second layer of uh, clear protective film. Ooh, and the plate underneath looks really good. Here we go. Ooh, you always want to hold down your plate when you pull off a foil like this so as not to like bend it because that's like the worst thing you can do to a stamping plate. There we go. There's our teeny tiny images. There's all kinds of, you know, stuff uh, that you can use in a cute little mani or on an accent nail. There's no full nail images, no nothing. And all of the images are rather small. Um, the llama is probably the biggest one and the cactus over here. You can put the Essence logo on your nails if you want to. Um, the etching. It sounds decent. It sounds like it's a decently deep etched. Um, yeah, I have prepped my nails and we're gonna stamp with this little teeny tiny stamping plate friend. Um, I've actually, I'm just gonna use exclusively Essence products in all of this video. I have prepared my nails with this nice color from the uh, Essence the Gel Nail Polish, which is my all-time favorite um, drugstore polish go-to thing. It's number 56, You and Me. It's sort of a nude, um, and I just wanted like a nude backdrop for these cute little images so we could really see if they work. Uh, and of course we are going to stamp with Essence polishes. Uh, and these are the Color Boost polishes. I've tested these for stamping before and they work really, really well because they're like so highly pigmented and thick um, that they work nice for stamping. On the back of these products, it does tell you how to stamp in a weird manner. I am going to probably take a picture and um, uh, insert it so you can read it and pause the video. Um, but yeah, they say weird things about stamping and they don't know anything about punctuation and grammar whatsoever, apparently. In order to save room, they just piled all the sentences together real close. Um, they do tell you to just use... Uh, they say, choose a design and apply a nail polish of your choice. We all know that that's not gonna work. You can't just use any old nail polish. Um, yeah, but they do tell you to roll, which uh, is my preferred method of stamping. So that's good. And they also, it, that's so cute. They also tell you, for the stamper, use sticky tape to remove excess nail polish or dust. <laughs> that's cute, right? We all know that that is what lint rollers were invented for, cleaning off stamper hats. So, I am going to set up for stamping. And usually, when I show you stamping swatches, I don't talk over them. But I thought that in this case, it's, it's okay uh, to like walk you through my thought process and tell you what I'm thinking, like a first impression video, right? Um, so in this case, you're gonna have to listen to me drone on about the quality of these stamping products. 
All right, so there's a lot of um, small individual images on this plate, and I'm still having a hard time making up my mind what I want to try first, but I think I'm going to go for the pineapple first, and I'm going to use um, the blue color boost, which is called, made in France, now it's called Instant Match for whatever reason, and uh, I'm going to try my best and use this uh, scraper. I am not too fond of like very firm and very small scrapers, but I will give it a good try because some people like the, that type of scraper, but I just prefer that like medium flexi scraper in general. Um, yeah, and that's the Semper hat. It has um, dried down. There's a little bit of residue, so I'm going to clean it off on my lint roller. Uh, here we go. So that looks better. But you can already see it's like, oops, distorty, distorty. But that's just uh, what comes with the shape of um, this stamper. So I am going to try this now and see if I can fit Mr. Pineapple or Mrs. Pineapple on my pinky. Oh, I don't like these scrapers. Here we go. That's scraped nicely. And I'm going to roll. Ooh, and it picked up nicely. There you go. Very nice! That worked like really, really well. I don't have any complaints here, um, other than, you know, the general stickiness of the stamper head, which is not my preferred uh, type of stamper. So let's see um, if we can do like a more chunky image. There's not much to choose from here. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to try the feather and then probably stamp like something else with it later on. It's really hard uh, when you have like a ton of smaller images so close together to pick off an individual image. I am doing my best here. There's the little feather. That also picked up nicely. There. Placement was easy enough. There. You can just stick that down. I managed to get like some axis on the edge of my nail, but other than that, that looks really decent. I really have to go hunt down that other stamping plate. Uh, and I'm going to pair the feather with some whatever, uh, like the hello maybe. I want to see if those fine lines pick up okay. Hello, that looks decent. And we're going to put the hello on this nail here also. As long as you do the rolling motion, you are totally fine. I'm using way too much polish. <laughs> Those images are so tiny. Crisp and clear. That's like, there's no complaints here whatsoever. Really nice. I'm really surprised. Like pleasantly surprised and the stickiness mm, is something that you can work with and some people prefer sticky stampers and they do have like you know some some cases they make a lot of sense. I'm going to try this heart image here. And maybe I can get like all of the heart images. Yes, yes. There we go. I'm going to put this like on here and these hearts up top. There we go. There's your Valentine's Manny right there. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to try with the stamper, if it picks up like on other plates. I don't have a, a doubt in my mind that it will, but I'm going to test like a full nail image on my thumbnail with a different color from a different plate. Let me change the scenery. So I grabbed this Born Pretty Store BPL-024 because I had it sitting on my desk because uh, this is the one I usually use for like stamping polish swatches. And I'm going to grab this like um, rose image on the very top of this plate because um, I want to see how the stamper picks up like a full nail uh, patterned image, so to say. And I am going to change to the Instant Love. Uh, also Essence Color Boost. I am really intrigued. There was, I forgot how good these stamp. It's like, if you haven't tried these, go get them. They're like part of the permanent line now, so you shouldn't have any issues. Ah, not so much. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe stamping down? Question mark? 
It might be because it's a corner image, those are harder. There we go. I'm just gonna try again. Here we go. I picked up most of the image. The stamper head is definitely like big enough to do that. Here we go. That picked up decently. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'm happy. Alrighty, you guys. That was my quick little showcase and testing out the Essence Stampit Clear Stampy Set. And I must say, I'm thoroughly impressed. If you are getting into stamping or if you want to just try out something new for your nail art or for your manis, you are now all set with an all drugstore set. All set with a set, haha. Um, I'm, I'm really amazed. I think that this is a pretty decent product. It's a pretty decent sized stamper. That's like a big uh, step up from the old little stamper dude. I'm actually, I'm just gonna pull that one out and show you. I actually can't show, show you. I'm just gonna insert a little picture of it. Uh, I actually tossed it out like way back when. Um, but this stamper head is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty decently sized. You can do um, full nail images with this, uh, even if your nails are, you know, much longer than mine. They are not very long at the moment, so there's plenty, plenty of wiggle room if you have longer nails. I do thoroughly like the screw on top, and I just looked into my stamper drawer. I do not have another stamper that has a screw top. Um, and I do believe that this size is like sort of a standard size, so if you wanted to replace the stamper head later on, you could probably do that if you, you know, want to buy another stamper head. Uh, in case this one breaks. Anyway, um, this is a pretty decent stamper, even though it is sticky, uh, and it cost me all of, it cost me uh, $3.45. That's, that's like amazing. That is about what you would pay for a decent stamper off of AliExpress. It is way, way cheaper than anything you can buy from brands like Bundle Monster, MoYu, uh, Clear Jelly Stamper, don't even get me started on those. Um, so this is a really pretty pretty good alternative from the drugstore and you can just get away with doing an all essence nail stamping thingamabob. The stamping plate, those little cute images, yeah they're good for beginners if you just want to try out like something on an accent nail. I'm gonna go track down the other plate and see if they have like more intricate designs on there. But I mean you're set for a while if you just use these little tiny images. They're really good. The, the scraper, if you want to do this like on a regular basis, I would just recommend getting an old like I don't want to say credit card because <laughs> nobody got those lying around, um, but like maybe an outdated I don't know bonus card from some place, an old Starbucks card, whatever, an old gift card in general. They scrape just as well uh, and they're bigger and easier to hold on. Um, but I don't have any complaints. The stamper, like I said, is three forty-five euros. That is, um, and the little stamping plate is one forty-five. Um, so let me do the math. That's four ninety. Oh, I did that real quick. That's like under five euros. You can do a decent mani. I mean, yeah, you have to buy like a stamping polish or um, whatever. But um, these Essence Color Boosts are really good alternative for that. Um, um, so if you just want to try out stamping for yourself, this is the best beginner set that I can recommend to you guys. And it's like ready, readily available. You don't have to order it online. You don't have to wait around for it. You don't have to order from all overseas. And, you know, spending five euros on something isn't like a huge waste of money in case you don't decide to go on with stamping. But I, I wouldn't know why that would be because it's addictive. <laughs> um, anyway, let me know your thoughts. I love this. I'm so happy that I, ha I found this and was able to find this like way before it was even supposed to be released. Um, and I'm really glad that I got to show you this on camera. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you've been able to trace this on one down. I'm going to leave some links uh, in the description box if you are in Europe or Germany. There's a couple of places that sell essence online and they might get this one down the line because I know that it's uh, a lot of people already commented under my video and under my Instagram post that this was uh, like sold out or like cleared out of the um, display in their local drugstores. Uh, anywho, let me know your thoughts. I'm really excited about this. I think this is an amazing step forward for the drugstore world. Um, yeah, other than that, that's it for today, you guys. I love you very, very much and I will talk to you next time. Bye!